Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to take a look at all the riffs in Bohemian Rhapsody. So I've already taken a look at the guitar solo and you guys wanted to see the rest. Um, um, so, you know, it's Queen. You can't miss with it. So let's do it. So we are still tuning, standard tuning here. And uh, this starts at about the four minute mark. You'll start hearing the guitars, the whole band built in for that big, hard, big arena rock section of the song. So we have the... That builds up at the, with a the power chord there at the 6th fret uh, off the low E string. You'll hear that coming in before this main riff happens. So the first thing we're going to learn is this. Easy enough. So let's slide into the 6th fret on the A string. And then 3, 4, 6 on the low E. Then three, five, six on the eight. On the eight. Then hit that six fret again. And then we're gonna go back up on the low E. Three, four, six. And then end it with three on the A, back to six on the low E. So all together, real slow. Now start over. But this time, when you get up to the sixth fret on the A string, slide into the eighth fret on the A, and do that same little ending that we did to the riff before. But instead, this time it's five, six, eight on low E, five on the A, back to eight on the low E. So all together. All right, from there we have some chords with some fills thrown in. Let's go through that real quick. All right, so that's, um, you know, coming out of this, when the vocals are, are coming in here, six fret power chord, just let it ring off the low E string. Then over, just move everything down one string to the E flat power chord, and then back down to the B flat power chord. So after you get back down there to the low E string power chord, you're gonna have that little fill come in. Now that little lick is just 8, 6 on the uh, D string to 8 on the A string, little three notes. And then next three notes, you're going to start one note down in the scale. So that's 6 on the um, D string, then 8, 6 on the A. So we have this. Shift that down to the fourth fret there on the A. And then play the octave with a little harp, uh, a little pitch harmonic on there. So this and a lot of vibrato. So we have this. All 
you can see I heavily palm muted that little run so those notes will kind of pop out a little bit. Then we're back to the power chord here, the sixth fret on low E. Over, over again. Now this time when you come back down, go to the fourth fret. Then play power chord, four, three, one. Here it is. And then we're gonna reach over and play the power chord here off the first fret of the A string. It was here before, but now we've moved down here because the fills happen here in between this chord. So we have this, the first fill is, so that's just you sliding into the fifth fret on the uh, D string, then playing the third fret, and then do a quick pull off between five and three on the A. So it is. And then quickly grab the power chord of the first fret on the low E again. Then we go back to this B flat uh, power chord here, and we have another fill. And that's sliding into the fifth fret there on the A string, third fret there on the D, and then pull off three, five to three. Come back to the fifth fret on the A. So it is. And then back to the first fret uh, off the low E power chord. So we have this. All together for that section. And then you just rotate between these two chords. You kind of just go boom, boom, back and forth with no fills. And then we get back into that riff that we did earlier. Now it's all the same except when you shift up to the fifth fret, we're going to continue it, go into a longer lick. So after we. When you get here. You're gonna do the five, six, eight on the low E, and then the full five, seven, eight on on the um, A string. You don't you don't stop there. You so all together. Then all the way up. And now you start this uh, next sequence where we have some uh, quick little scale sequences, and it sounds like this. Now that last little sequence actually is there's an it's there's also the same lick is done an octave higher so I'll show you that as well. So we'll start here uh, with the the first and that's coming out is that's 9 11 13 on the A then 11 13 on the A and 10 on the D. Then 13 on the A, 10, 11 on the D. The little three note groups is what you want to look at it. And now we start the actual three ascending scale licks. The first one is this. So that is going to be 11, 12 on the low E string. Then 9, 11, 12 on the A. Then when you get to the D string, you're gonna go 11, I'm sorry, 9, 11, 9, 11. Do it twice. Like this. And you're gonna end it with 8, 9 on the G. The next lick is this. So that's gonna be 4, 6 in the low E. Then three, four, six on the A. And then three, four on the D. And then repeat that three, four, but you're gonna do a th full three, four, six on the D. So we have this three, four first, then three, four, six. So all together. And you're gonna end it at the third fret there on the G. And the last lick, which is doubled an octave higher, is this. So that is six on the low E, 
then 3-5 on the A, and then you're going to go 3-5-6 on the A. Let's play this. You're going to go up to the 3rd fret on the D, come back down to the 6th fret on the A, then 3-5-6 on the D. Let's play this. A little bit of palm muting on there. Now the, uh, the same notes in Octopire are played like this. So that's basically you're taking the same lick, you just have to move a little bit differently because the, the tuning between the strings is a little bit different up here. So we have eight on the D string if you want. So if you have a second guitar player, or you can choose which one you want to play, but it's just on the very last one we're going to have it um, harmonized an octave higher. So we have our doubled. So we. So that's eight on the D string, then five, seven, twice. Oh, so, well, five, seven on the G, and then just go five, seven, eight. So, just like here. And then we're gonna go sixth on the B, back to eight on the G, and then go six, eight, nine on the B. And that, both of those, resolves into that power chord of the 6th fret on the low E. And then we have some um, little triad soloing that we do. That sounds like this. Alright, so it started with some triads there. Let's look, take a look at those. We're going to start here. Really staccato sound. So really get the, the little palm mute going. So we have 8 on the D, 8 on the G, 8 on the B. And then resolve it to the 11th fret there on the B string. Let that note ring. The second arpeggio is 8 on the D, 7, 10 on the G, 11 on that B string. So we have this. Alright, and then we're going to finish out those arpeggios with, with the 10 on the D, and then 8 on the G, 8 on the B, and then a bend at the 11th fret on the high E, oh, I'm sorry, on the B string. So we have this all together. All right, and now we play some uh, simple melodies. Now, there's a lot of harmony guitar parts coming on here. So what I'm really doing is is kind of what he played. Um, you know, just watch some live stuff and what he plays live, generally out of those harmonized parts. Just the main, the, the part he considers to be the main part. Um, so that's what we're learning here. So it's this, we have seven, eight on the G, and then back to seven, and then do a quick eight, Hammer to 10, pull off to 8. And then 10 on the G. Then a quick hammer, 8 to 9, and play 8. So we have this. And then he jumps into this high harmony part, switch to your neck pickup. So that's slide into the 19th fret and as you slide into it as soon as you get there bend it up a slow bend up a half step and then release pick it there let it ring and then go to 20 then 17 18 on the high e all right and then we're going to end it here he switches to some a little finger picking style Give it a really soft quality. You might want to roll the volume back a little bit. So that's 13 on the B. Pick that and then pick it again and slide up to 15 and then down to 11. So we have this. Do that again. 
and then uh, the whole guitar parts really kind of die out there until the very end of the song there's this little melancholic guitar lick there it sounds like this turn it down just a touch All right, so what's going on there? We have the 11th fret there. Pick that twice. On the second hit, slide down to 9. Slide down to 9. And then pick again. Slide down to 8. Pick that and let it ring. Then pick 8 again, slide to 5. Then roll over to the 5th fret on the G. Pick that and slide down to 3. Then the 2nd fret on the G, and slide into the 6th fret on the B. All together. And that's about it for all of Brian May's guitar parts in Bohemian Rhapsody. It's, it's, it's an amazing song. It's got some really unique guitar lines in it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and make sure you check out the solo video if you haven't yet. All right, I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.